what you own ends up owning you. This is a quote from Tyler Durden in the movie Fight Club. This is actually one of the top 10 most zen movies, believe it or not. And it's because it's continually talking about the art of non-attachment. What takes place in your existence, the kind of freedom that takes place in your life and your existence when you are able to live in non-attachment or not be attached to possessions and things and people and, you know, the list goes on and on. And I want to express to you right now how beautiful it is where true freedom is found in the place where you have nothing left to lose. When you really come to the place that you've let go of everything, then, and only then, can you really enjoy everything. Then, and only then, can you experience ecstasy in everything. So I just want to come to you and encourage you with a small, short, little video today to learn to let go. Now, how do we let go? And it all starts with recognizing who you are. Because the ego, what you believe you are, this believed self, finds its identity in possessions in other people. It finds its identity, the ego, is formed. This belief is formed in the in attachment. It's formed literally in this place of identifying in things and others. And so... The ego can't let go of that. It, when the ego lets go of shit, it feels like its life is coming to an end. This is the reason why the Bible is continually talking. Jesus always said, uh, if you want to find your life, you must lose it. Whoever comes after me must pick up his cross and follow me. It's this entire idea that this you, this self that was, according to Galatians 2.20, crucified with Christ. This self, this old idea, this old remnant, this old endemic mindset you that has been attached to everything must come to an end or the attachments must come to an end. But you can't separate the old egoic self from the attachments. You really can't separate the two. Because if you remove the attachments, the old egoic self has no more foundation for its existence. Literally, the foundation of this believed self is shit, is stuff, is people. And so when we let go of these things, we begin to really discover a brand new self. It's almost like if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. You begin to discover this brand new you. And you begin to experience newness in all things. This is where the party's at. This is where the fucking party's at, baby. This is where life really begins. This is when you really begin to live the life of your dreams. Is when you discover that that old belief self is no longer real. That, that self that's been attached to everything is gone. And this new self can enjoy stuff without being bogged down or shackled or chained up by attachments. See, you can enjoy stuff. And you can enjoy other people in in immense ways, like in ecstatic ways, when you are not hanging on to them. I remember hearing it said, when you love when you love something, you don't crush it. You don't squeeze the life out of it. If you love a bird, you don't hang on to it. When you love something, you hold it loosely and gently. And so the same thing I can say when you're enjoying something and you're loving someone or something, hold it loosely. Enjoy it. And what it means by holding it loosely is it can go away. And I'm open because I'm holding it loosely. My hands are open to receive something new. But when I'm clutching to something or someone, my hands aren't open. My, my posture is not open to receive something new. And so I'm shut off. I'm closed down. So the thing that I'm hanging on to, the thing that you might be hanging on to, is actually keeping you from experiencing life to its fullness, but it's also keeping you from being open to receive something new. So the number one step to receiving something new, to experiencing the life of your dreams, to uh, is to learn how to let go or hold loosely the things in your life, the people in your life. When you open yourself up and you hold them loosely, you are also opening yourself up to the world around you and to new experiences new things. I absolutely love you. I hope this helps. I hope this encourages you. And um, 
Hope you have an amazing day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Thank you.